Windows 11 is awesome and comes with a ton of ways to customize it to however you feel. But what if you could take it further? In this video, I will show you how to transform your Windows 11 laptop into a macOS lookalike. And hey, if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an upgrade. So without wasting my time, let's get started into the video. I've provided a link to download this zip file which contains all the files we are going to use in this customization in one zip file. So once you have it, you can extract it on your desktop and open. When you open it up, you are going to see these three folders inside and the first thing we are going to do is to open the doc folder and here just extract my doc finder here. Once you have it extracted, you can open it up and you are going to see my doc finder folder. Just copy and head to your documents folder and here you can paste it here. Once you have it here, you can just open it up and here you can scroll down and you are going to see doc. 64 just double click on it to run once it runs you are going to see this beautiful dock and it looks pretty nice with this finder at the top but if your icons are not like this just right click on the dock and click on preferences once it opens just head to advance scroll down to the bottom and choose this once you have it click on ok and now right click on your dock and restart dock and after you've restarted it you are going to see it's looking pretty cool if you want to know more about this dock you can just check my youtube channel and see a lot of videos about it to see how you can customize it further now let's open our folder up again and now we are going to customize our mouse kezer so to do that just open your mac os kezer folder and here right click on the install and just click on install once it's done you can just close it up and now click on your start menu again and click on settings once you are here click on accessibility and now you are going to see mouse pointer and touch scroll down and here click on mouse scroll down again and click on advanced mouse settings and click on pointer once you are here just click on this one and select macOS and just click on ok click on yes to start now you can see my mouse cursor has been changed to this mac os cursor and it's looking pretty cool so with this i can just close my system settings up and open this one folder again click on the folder and now what we are going to do next is to get the beautiful music widget on our computer we need to use an application called remeter and you can just double click on it to start the installation click on ok click on install to install this Remeter. just click on finish you are going to, to see the first scans on your desktop just right click on each of them and unload once you have it unloaded just double click on the square player and here click on install once you have it you can close it up and now just click on this button and click on remeter to open remeter manager and here you are going to see the screen reinstalled on our computer unfold it and now you are going to see five skins over here and they are all nice the skin we are going to use is this square player version 2 and just click on it to load once it's loaded you are not going to see anything over here because i'm not playing any music now whilst the music is playing you are going to see this beautiful skin on your computer but it's looking so big for me so i'll just right click on it click on edit to open its file for me to edit it now i can scroll down here and i'm going to see skill so with the skill i'm just going to reduce mine to 1.0 and now save once it's saved you can close it up and right click on the skin again and now click on refresh skin and wow look at this this is looking beautiful so i prefer moving it to this side in order to put all my running applications at the left side and to do that we can just right click on the dock head to preferences you are going to see state manager here just click on it scroll down and make sure you turn it on for the monitor you are using once you have it turned on you are going to see a few tweaks over here to increase the size or reduce it to also increase the spacing you can also increase the number of windows you can also do a whole lot of things over here and it's pretty cool so with this i can close it up and now you are going to see this so if i open another window in addition to it you can see that if i minimize it, you are going to see it to be here and i can switch between them with ease with a smooth mac os vibe and this is pretty cool now you can see our application is not showing because of the stage manager you can now click on this to open your explorer and now we can scroll up to click on desktop and open the folder again to continue our customization now the last thing i'm going to show you here is the three wallpapers i've added here and you can set any of them as your background wallpaper 
and it's really going to change how the mac os feels so this is it for the video and this is pretty amazing if you don't want this thing on your computer again you can just right click on your dock and here click on preferences and now what you have to do is to scroll down click on about and here scroll down again and click on uninstall to uninstall the skin once you have it uninstalled you can also head to your settings to uninstall the remitter skins and it's pretty easy to just head to apps and here click on installed apps scroll down and look for remitter and click on uninstall and here what you have to do is to just check this one to completely remove everything and click on it to uninstall so with this you have a clean back windows 11 and with no issues so this is it for the video and if you find it helpful just hit the bell icon and also subscribe to the channel i'll see you in my next one